Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with DarkAdds.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to play the same game on two Xbox Ones. First, you need two profiles. The first one in which you're going to actually purchase the games and play them, and then a second one in which you want to download and also play the games. Now on the first console, you're going to want to have the first profile in which you purchase the games, and you're going to for say buy Battlefield 4. Then on the second console, you want both profiles. You want the profile that you're using to purchase the game, and the one that you want to download the game to and play with as well. Alright, so now the most important step. You have the both consoles. On console number one, you have the main profile. On console number two, you have the main profile and the second profile or whatever profiles you want. Now on the second console, you're going to want to go to settings with the main profile that you used to purchase the game. And you're going to go down to my home Xbox and you're going to want to set this as your home profile. Now what this is going to grant is the ability to have gold for all the people on that Xbox and also grant them access to the games that were originally downloaded with the main profile on the other Xbox. Now of course you do want to download the games on this Xbox or on your second Xbox with the original profile, then switch accounts and then you can start using it. But the only trade off you're making here is that on the first Xbox other profiles won't be able to play it and you also won't get the free gold for the whole people on that Xbox. But on the second console, you will be able to. And this is great if you have two Xbox Ones in one home and don't want to spend $60 on two games or, you know, 120 Instead, you can kind of split that. It would be 30-30. You both download the game digitally and so on. So, yeah, hopefully this helps anybody. Um, I know it's kind of a hidden feature. So that's why I was mainly making this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for CES 2014 coverage next week. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.